Hey, what is up YouTube? This is gonna be a follow-up video. Well, I have an unboxing video of this uh, Field World monitor. This is a six inch, 2600 nit screen brightness. Perfect for this bright daylight. So you can actually see the screen. In fact, let me show you something right here. Touch screen now. I already have an unboxing of this Field monitor. I'll leave it linked up here somewhere. Um, the, one of the main reasons I chose this field monitor is because of its brightness. Again, right there is a, probably about a 450 nit screen monitor right there. Now that's a 2600 nit right there. That's bright. Something, you can see that. Um, now, this came, in at a, at a, this came in at a price point of about about two, I think I paid about 289 for it. Didn't break the budgets. I mean, these things can really run, run and cost as far as, you know, I guess, I mean, you pay for what you get. It depends on what you want. But for me, this is this was perfect for me. Uh, let's, I'm not gonna go over all of the features with this. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features that are on here. Now, of course, touch screen. Let's go see what we got. We got focus assist and right now, I do have focus assist on, which is perfect. I mean, if you have like a little flippy screen on your camera, that little flippy screen, sometimes you can't nail focus the way, you, you know, sometimes you might think, oh man, it looks in focus, but sometimes it's not in focus. But with this, with this big screen, you can nail focus right here. For, uh, I've already uh, went into the menu. My focus color on this for focus assist is this blue color. You can get in here and change it to whatever color you like. Um, okay, you got focus assist, double tap. Okay, you got focus level. Focus level just, you can vary the level of the thickness of these, these blue things on here that are outlining what's, what outline, outlining what's in focus. You can just change the intensity of that, that's all. Then you, okay, yeah, focus color, I got mine's on blue. You got your zebra, monochrome, false color, return. Nine grid, safety marker, center marker. I don't know what some of this stuff is. Marker matte, marker matte alpha, marker color. You've got under scan, scan mode, video aspect, anamorphic mode, auto mirror, zoom, off, freeze, pixel to pixel. Go to the next one, all waves, parade vector, RGB histogram, histogram, audio meter. You got LUT switch, LUT import, HDR, color temp, backlight, brightness, contrast, saturation. You've got a lot of features on here that you can get into. Uh, you got your wheel. What wheel means you can basically, this little wheel at the top right here, let me zoom out a little bit. There's a little wheel right here. You can uh, basically have that, let me see, zoom times, backlight. You can have that wheel, according to what you have set with this control right here, you can have that wheel do what you want it to do, basically. The language, OSD, on-screen display alpha, OSD time. You got your volume, mute fan this does have a fan in the back of it it has a uh, right there an event the vents right there it does have an active cooling system in it I guess you know because of the screen you can get you know 2600 nit and it's if it's hot in the summer that fan may need to come on but it's it's cool out here today it's probably like in the 40 so that fan is probably not gonna come on but overall, this is a really nice monitor. It comes with a, um, like a screen protector on it right here. I can peel this away, but I'm not, why, why would I peel it off? Because I'm gonna be looking for a screen protector anyway, but it's nice that it came one. Again, this is a field war monitor. Uh, the screen size is uh, six inches, perfect size. 1080 by 19, 1920 by 1080, something like that display size but um display resolution so really nice 
again uh, on the side I've already went over some of this stuff in my in my uh, unboxing video you have uh, HDMI ports on the side and everything like that and I've got this on, on my uh, Panasonic S1H let me zoom this back out Panasonic S1H rig right here really nice well with that being said I hope you enjoyed this video if you want to pick this monitor up and these batteries I'll leave everything linked in the description below and you uh, maybe can pick one up for yourself and again the screen brightness on this the 2600 nits is excellent for being outside if you like to shoot outside some of the cheaper monitors that have like 400 to 500 nits those are probably good for inside heck if you had this inside I wouldn't have it on 2600 nit brightness that would probably be that would probably be that would probably be too bright in my opinion but um, I'll leave all this linked in the description, the battery and everything. The big old battery in the back. Nice bright screen. If you like videos like this, consider subscribing. Hit that like button. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.